Hello friends, my name is S.S. Benchali, Department of Mathematics, Basveshwar Engineering College, Bagalcourt. For any suggestions, please write sbenchali at gmail.com. In this video, I am going to evaluate integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 5 theta into cos raised to 7 theta d theta. Now, I can compare this with a definition of beta and gamma functions. And we know that beta and gamma functions means definitions of beta and gamma functions does not contain trigonometric functions. Then I shall verify properties of beta and gamma functions. We know that one of the property of beta function can be written as b of mn is equal to 2 times of integration of 0 to 5 by 2 sin raised to 2m minus 1 into theta cos raised to 2n minus 1 theta d theta. Now we have already proved this property. Now I can take the help of this property to evaluate the above integral. Right here, I am going to replace m by p plus 1 by 2. Similarly, n by q plus 1 by 2 in the above property. So, this can be rewritten as 1 by 2 times of beta of p plus 1 by 2 q plus 1 by 2 is equal to integration of 0 to 5 by 2 sin raised to I have to replace m by p plus 1 by 2. It means 2 times of p plus 1 by 2 minus 1 theta cos raised to 2 times of q plus 1 by 2 minus 1 theta d theta. Simplify. So, 0 to 5 by 2 sin raised to 2 cancels with 2 p plus 1 minus 1 means sin raised to p theta. Similarly, cos raised to 2 cancels with 2 q plus 1 minus 1 means raised to q theta d theta. Right? So, now I can compare given integral with this formula. Is it clear? So, it means given integral can be written as therefore integration of 0 to 5 by 2 sin raised to 5 theta into cos raised to 7 theta d theta can be written as 1 divided by 2 times of beta of 5 it means p plus 1 5 plus 1 divided by 2 similarly 7 plus 1 divided by 2 I can simplify this can be written as 1 by 2 times of b of 5 plus 1 6 divided by 2 it means 3 7 plus 1 8 divided by 2 it means 4 right so this can be written as 1 by 2 times of beta of mn is equal to gamma of 3 and gamma of 4 divided by gamma of 3 plus 4 how you will get them by using the definition of sorry relation between beta and gamma functions is it clear? So, this can be written as 1 by 2 times of gamma of 3 means 2 factorial and gamma of 4 means 3 factorial. Gamma of 7 means 6 factorial. Right? So, again uh, you can simplify 1 by 2 times of 2 factorial means 2 into 1 into 3 factorial means 3 into 2 into 1 divided by 6 factorial means 6 into 5 into and so on up to 1. Right? I hope we can simplify, you will get the required answer for the given integral. Thank you very much for watching this video.